Hi, I'm Ed Murtaugh, the Stormwater Geek. Today, I'm in one of the Stormwater Green Street projects along Dennis Avenue. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Green Streets, how they work, and why you should care about them. Why are the streets in our watershed such a big problem? One reason is that our streets use curb and gutters, which are designed to convey water off the streets as quickly as possible. Fast-moving stormwater conveys trash and litter, sediment, nutrients, and many other pollutants down the storm drain and into Sligo Creek. So instead of entering Sligo Creek as cool, clean groundwater, when it rains, it enters all at once as hot, polluted runoff, which damages Sligo's ecology and causes flash flooding. Watersheds with more than 25% of the land covered with hard and pervious surfaces have streams and creeks that are degraded. Approximately 33% of Sligo Creek 7,000 plus acres is covered with hard and pervious surfaces. About one third of that is streets and roads. So if we were ever gonna to wanna to see improvements in the ecological health of Sligo Creek, we're gonna to have to address the hard surfaces like roads and streets. How much stormwater runoff do we get when it rains? One inch of rain on one square foot of hard surface will produce approximately 0.6 gallons of stormwater runoff. Sligo Creek can therefore receive tens of millions of gallons of stormwater runoff with each inch of rain. During the flooding of September 10th, 2020, 2,500 cubic feet per second or 18,700 gallons per second flowed through Sligo's USGS flow gauge location at the peak of the flooding. That is about 250 times Sligo's normal flow. One of the solutions to excessive stormwater in our watershed is through the use of green streets. What are green streets? Green streets use vegetation like perennials, shrubs, trees. They also use special soils and engineered system in street right-of-ways. Hot polluted runoff enters into the garden area where it's filtered and cleansed and slowly enters Sligo Creek as cool, clean water. The idea behind this is that we're trying to mimic natural areas which we have lost due to development. Green street projects are being used throughout our watershed and hopefully this is just the beginning. What are some of the green street techniques used in our watershed? Okay, now we're in front of one of the Green Street projects along Sligo Creek Parkway next to the golf course. So how do Green Street projects work? There are several mechanisms to cleanse the stormwater. The main idea though is to slow down the stormwater, spread it out, and give it time to soak into the soil. Once in the soil, the magic happens. Once in the soils, naturally occurring chemical processes help remove some of the metals, organics, and phosphorus. Once the runoff is around the root zones of the plants, the nitrogen and phosphorus are soaked up into the plant and used. Microorganisms in the soil can help break down organics like petroleum, and they can also consume harmful pathogens. Sediment, which is a huge problem in Sligo Creek, and trash and litter are also filtered out in these gardens. In addition to stormwater treatment, our Green Street projects provide habitat for pollinators. Native plants are frequently found in the gardens. Green Streets therefore provide all these environmental services while looking beautiful. Does your garden do more than just look pretty? Next time, think about how your garden can help Sligo Creek.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching our video, please subscribe to our channel and like our video.